Hi everyone, welcome to the official Astro Pixel Processor YouTube channel. I am Mabula Haverkamp presenting this video from our office. I will now introduce you to the release notes of the next Astro Pixel Processor version. Going forward, we intend to release more videos like this, including new video tutorials. The major improvement of this release is that Astro Pixel Processor will now preserve important and relevant FITS header tags when Astro Pixel Processor saves FITS files. For instance, if we check the header of uh, a light frame, uh, I've loaded a hydrogen alpha light frame of a project of my own, and I check that it's FITS header. So, what we see in this header is the, all the information that is stored there by the capture software. So we see the software, my name, and we see uh, the object coordinates. Now, if we integrate light frames with this information, uh, which I previously did, uh, I load the hydrogen alpha integration file. You see the result. Uh, and we check its header metadata. So now we will see all the fit stacks that Astro Pixel Processor produces in the header of the integration file. But at the bottom, you will also see that it inherits fits header tags from the original light frame. So you still see the object, the software used, you see my name, and you see the object coordinates, they are still there. We have two other improvements for the FITS header. We now include the image type header tag. This makes sure that other applications will understand the frames that Astro Pixel Processor produces, like the master frames. The other improvement is the inclusion of the important filter header tag. Uh, previously, uh, we had only the filt1 header tag to discriminate between different filters for possible integrations using different filters. Uh, but we will now always include the general filter tag as well. If your reference frame uh, is a FITS file and it has the object FITS tag, the uh, Astro Pixel Processor will also use this tag to help you with the name for your integration file. So in this case, our object is IC1396A. And if we look in the load menu, you can actually see that that exact name is now used for your Deep Sky object name, and your integrations will automatically have that name unless you overrule this. These improvements for the FITS headers that Astro Pixel Processor produces are implemented for the whole application. So this means that anywhere that Astro Pixel Processor saves FITS files, the FITS files will inherit the relevant FITS header tags from either source or reference files. The next improvement in this release is described on the forum in the release notes. Uh, you can always find the release notes on our forum if you go to the forum and then go to development release information. So for beta 33, um, I will show this point. 
the improved application startup behavior. Um, beta 33 has an improvement over beta 32. Uh, beta 32 started up a little bit slower due to settings for our development platform. Uh, and so we changed this to give it a more smooth startup and a faster warm up period. We have replaced the license and configuration button by a new button at the top left of the application called License and Settings. The new menu enables you to manage your license and set application-wide settings or reset them. To manage your license, click on the License Management button and a new window will pop up which shows you your license details. All computers that were activated for your license can be seen and managed here. Uh, and computers that were activated uh, can be deactivated for your license using the deactivate buttons. If you need to enter a new license, for instance, when you're upgrading to a paid license from a free trial license, you can enter your new license code here. Um, please note, in this version, we have also updated this window to enter your license code. Below the license management button, you will find all the settings that you can control application-wide. For instance, you can enable or disable pop-up menus with instructions. You can control which sound is played when a process completes. You can have the image viewer in a separate window. This can enhance performance on many platforms, on many computers. Finally, uh, this menu also has reset buttons. The top button, Reset Settings, this will reset all these settings to its default values. The second button helps you to reset all processing menus from menu 0 to 6 to its defaults. If you want to reset everything in the whole application to defaults, use the bottom button. Everything in this menu is explained with the pop-up menus. Lastly, we have two important bug fixes in this new release. Uh, the first one uh, that I will discuss is um, a weird bug which would manifest on Mac OS computers when the field of view is very big. Uh, sometimes the integration file would show really weird horizontal stripes. A real artifact, as you can see in this image. Uh, this is actually now solved also by a bug fix that was made in beta 32. And so this error is also solved completely now. Finally, there is a bug fix for loading TIFF files from the Celestron Origin Telescope. Uh, Beta 32 could give an array index out of bounds exception, and this is fixed. So the TIFFs that the Celestron Telescope produces up will be able to read them now without problems, including their headers. Astro Pixel Processor can always be downloaded from our downloads page. You don't need to log in to be able to access downloads. Do know that to use AstroPixel Processor, you always need a valid license. Uh, so if you don't have a license yet, you can order one here, including a free 30-day trial. 
The latest release of Astro Pixel Processor can always be downloaded using these direct links. Uh, so they will always contain the latest release. If you want to use or try an older version, you can find them at the bottom. Please click a release version and there you will be able to find the installers per platform. We have started the official Astro Pixel Processor YouTube channel. The intention is to make more release note videos like this one going forward. And once Astro Pixel Processor 2.0 stable is released, we will also start making new video tutorials. If you like this and want to keep fully up to date with all developments surrounding Astro Pixel Processor, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.